Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're well. Um, I'm really sorry it's been a while since I haven't uploaded. I've been so, so busy. Um, for any of you who don't know, I started a full-time job. Everything went to chaos. Um, but I thought I'd film a little video for you guys today. So we have recent, well, we've just now got some millipedes. Um, and we have cohabbed our millipedes and African land snails. So I thought I'd talk you through the setup, show you the new millipedes. It's only going to be a short video. Um, but yeah, here is what I would want to say is my spider shop unboxing by showing you what's in the tank. Um, because I've already unboxed everything. Um, but let's crack on. Let's go. So guys, I know you can't really see because of the uh, reflection, but here is our communal tank i don't know what size it is not gonna lie so i unfortunately can't tell you that information uh i've added a label up here to show you what's in here as well so we've got two african giant millipedes uh two matte black millipedes uh two fire armored four metallic and then three african land snails so we're just gonna dive right in and like I say as we go through i'll talk you guys through what i got from the spider shop and all that lot so as you can see, here is one of the fire armoured millipedes. There's one there. Then you can see some of the big African ones at the back. Um, as well as I'm sure there's some of the matte black ones there as well. Um, obviously we've also got three African land snails in here as well. So, um, obviously I've just chucked some food in there just for the moment, just to sort of get them all used to each other. Um, so with this enclosure, this originally housed our Chihua gecko. Um, so hence why it's got, this is all stuck on at the back here and obviously all the backing's done. I just kept it like this because I thought it'd be really ideal. You know, obviously sometimes um, the snails can want to climb and it gives them a good base to climb on if they need to, you know, get away from the millipedes for whatever reason. So we had quite a big order from the spider shop. Um, like I say, we had two giant African millipedes, two matte black millipedes, two fire armored millipedes and then we had four of the metallic which actually came as part of the cleanup crew box um now the metallic we actually got a really really good deal on that the metallics go for roughly around six pound each i think on the website um the box was 20 pound and you got with it four millipedes um some spring tails and also i've got to think um da -da 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 -da. There was something else in there. Uh, the isopods, that was it. So the springtails, the isopods, and the millipedes. Um, so with ours, we got obviously the four metallic millipedes, um, and then the isopods and springtails, in which obviously the isopods and springtails are also in here. Um, so in terms of what we got from the spider shop, um, obviously you've got the habitat box here, which includes these two here, um, this down here, this little mushroom top here, this here at the back, um, the moss, and also there's a piece of quartz bark in there as well. And have I missed anything? There's also this little thing here, which I'm not quite sure what that is, if I'm honest. Um, and then a bunch of moss. There's so much moss in there, it's unreal. Um, so it's really, really good value. I can't remember how much the habitat box is, but I know it's really good value. We turned around and said, you know, it's amazing value. Then we've added a aloe vera plant in here. We've also got two of the smaller ones down here as well. Um, and then like I said, obviously the millipedes. We brought the um, fire armoreds, the Africans and the matte blacks um, all separately. And lucky enough, we actually believe we have one male, one female of each. So uh, the like I said, the Africans, the mats and the fires we have a male and female of each of them. We're not 100% on the fires because I see, like I say, they are tiny at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is our communal setup. Um, likewise, guys, any advice, drop it in the comments. And I know this is quite a short video, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing what I've done with it. Um, I'm sure over time this will develop and no doubt we'll get babies and what like that as well. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, the next YouTube video that's due to come is the baby leopard gecko so i'm going to show you guys the baby leopard geckos that have recently hatched out um they the first one's hatched out on the 15th of april so i'm quite far behind on videos 
but I'm going to try and catch up a little bit and, you know, try and keep you guys updated with some content at least because I have been slacking. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a tripod. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of time lapse to include at the end of this video. Like I say, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, enjoy the time lapse and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. 